welcome back to Scarlet Rage Vintage and today we are going to talk about collectible vintage. Things that I think are highly collectible and could be worth some serious money are, are worth some serious money now. So first piece that we're going to talk about is sugar giants. Now sugar giants are something that is highly prized highly collectible and has been copied quite a lot by brands like Chloe, Topshop, I mean I think Ed Hardy was the first one that really went into reproing it into their own style. The roots of the Sikajan can be pulled back to World War II when American soldiers were stationed in Japan and they were literally made as souvenirs of their time in Japan or Korea or any of the Pan-Asian islands. and they became highly collectible in recent time. It's been quite a male orientated sort of collector's item, but now I, now people like the high-end high brands are copying it. A lot more women I now see are rocking a Sukajan, and I actually am a huge fan of Sukajans. No Sukajan is the same. They all have different embroidery, you know, they were personalised to the soldier that was stationed, you know, he might have had his station number of his troop on the back. These are great items, not only from a, a history and a cultural aspect, but as a great thing to wear. Great with a white t-shirt and some jeans. So number one on my list is a Sukajan. So the second thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is Lucite. Lucite can come in uh, many forms. It can come in sort of accessories, sort of jewelry, and then my favorite is Lucite handbags. Now Lucite was made in 1931 by a chemicals company called uh, DuPont. Even though Lucite is a plastic, it kind of had a bit of glitz behind it. In the late 1940s, brands like Llewellyn started to, to develop handbags. Now this slowly stopped the production of Bakelite and made Lucite more popular at the time. The reason why I love Lucite <laughs> is because of the varieties. Each brand was making different shapes, styles, colours. I mean, they were, it was like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You can find black lucite, pink confetti lucite, purple lucite. The shapes, you have like the roll bags, then you have the box bags, then you have the bird cages. And some companies actually just put lucite handles on handbags. And you know, you can also go into the Dorset Rexes, which is the woven metal with the lucite or the Perspex. Uh, top and handle. So Lucite was popular I would say from the 1940s, when it started in the 1940s, to the early 60s. Lucite isn't cheap, I mean for a good Lucite I would expect to start around £100. It could go up to ooh, six, seven, eight hundred pounds, maybe more. The third collectible item I'm going to talk about is illustrator Sal Steinberg. In the past couple of years, pieces from Sal have boomed. He was a Romanian uh, cartoonist slash illustrator, best known for his work with The New Yorker, but he did a line of illustrative prints that got converted into fabrics. His prints were on dresses and skirts and you might find them on shirts. He's got an opera scene print, he's got fox hunt print, he's got cactus print with cowboys, which is the one I have. So Sal Steinberg is highly popular within the vintage communities especially of uh, novelty print and border print collectors. Also a lot of um, high street brands have tried to copy some of his prints. That concludes uh, everything for my collectible video. There are so many other things that are highly collectible, I know. Um, but if you want me to talk about anything else, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, bye!